Good evening and welcome to A Touch of Grace Ministries. I'm Pastor Harold Sutton, Senior Pastor of A Touch of Grace Ministry, a ministry that I love so dearly and I'm so proud to serve as pastor. Those who are visiting us for the first time, I just want to say, let the Son of Yahweh enfold in you. Let him fill you with his spirit and his love. Let him fill your heart and satisfy your soul. Let him have the things that hold you in his spirit like a dove will descend upon your life and make you whole. Just sit back and just, uh, since now that you're here, <laughs> you can stop the strolling and the surfing on your networks and your computers and just uh, just sit right here and bask in his presence right along with me as we worship and praise on this Sabbath evening. Welcome to Sabbath Vesper. There's a song that's been in my spirit all week long. Uh, a song that was written not by myself. Um, a song that was written by one of my co-directors, the late John Watson uh, of the Tabernacle Echoes. And this song has been in my spirit all day long. Uh, it was a, a prayer song that John wrote. He wrote, some, he wrote this song back in 1983. And it's, and it's just still resonating in my spirit. It's, it's, it's still relevant. And I want to share it with you today. And um, a lot of times when we don't know what to say, we don't know what to do, when things sometimes come upon us and it leaves us speechless. And, you know, all we can do is put our faith and trust in Yahweh. And so sometimes things come up and, like I said, you don't have words. So all you can do is just ask for mercy. We're living in a time with this pandemic going on, a lot of madness going on in our world. We have the presidential election that's coming up in November, just a few months. And we know our current uh, situation with the current president, all we can do is say, Lord, mercy. I was thinking about John's uh, song that you have people out here about people that's dealing with sickness, uh, and I'm just crying, Lord, mercy. Um, many have lost, many people have lost loved ones. You're talking about over 160,000 alone due to this uh, COVID-19 pandemic that we're currently experiencing all around the world and all I can do is lift my hands and say mercy. We look at uh, folks that don't know which way to turn, don't know how they're going to survive, they lost their job, can't uh, pay their rent, can't pay their mortgage, can't feed their family. I'm just crying mercy. That's the word for the day is mercy. You know, you hear a lot of preaching, you know, ministers are, are, are preaching, you know, when you turn from uh, one channel to the other, everybody preaching and and, and they, 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 they try their best to minister, but sometimes uh, all we just need to do is pray. Isn't that right? Uh, you know, I mean, the word, the word is good, but some of us are experiencing uh, uh, these trials in our life, and, and sometimes we find it hard uh, uh, to just, just uh, you know, when the ministers preach and say, God will make a way, but when you look at your current condition, uh, you, know, uh, you know, the preacher said, oh, he can make a way, but you, you, you say, well, I've been exercising my faith and I've been trusting and I'm still going through these songs of life. I don't mean no harm, you know, but I heard those words before and I'm still 
feel in my current situation. So I just don't want to speak that. What I want to do is I just want to intercede on many behalf and just say mercy, mercy, mercy. And we pray that the Father hear our cry, that he will grant his peace and his mercy, his grace upon your life and that he will break every yoke, that he will make every way, that he will heal every sickness that a lot of people are contending with on today, the pain of losing uh, loved ones, you know, and so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, not a lot of preaching, we just want to pray and that the Father have mercy for America, uh, not only for America, but for his children, and I'm not talking about only the, but the saved and those who believe, but I'm talking about the unsafe and those who don't know him in a very real way. So I just want to share this song with you.
Thank you, John Watson, for that beautiful song. I'm telling you, it just blesses me. And, you know, when I don't know what to do, sometimes I just raise my hand and say, Mercy, Lord, have mercy. I remember my grandmother, and they used to say a, sing a song way back in the day. They said, Well, if I couldn't I say a word, I believe I just wave my hand. I remember that one. <laughs> and so we just want to encourage you today, no matter what you're going through, don't give up. Don't give up when you don't have the words to say, when you don't know what to do, which direction to turn. Just raise your hand and look to the hills when it's coming for your help. And ask the Father for mercy. I promise you he will grant it to you. Be blessed.